This video is brought to you by my awesome sponsors. Make sure to check out the affiliate links in the description below. Thanks again for all the support. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to release early release week of Forza Motorsport. After six long years, we're finally here. So I'm very excited to finally be able to uh, play this game and see what turn 10 really means about built from the ground up. Instead of giving you my honest first impressions, which is something every YouTuber apparently has already done, I'm going to discuss uh, the Forza Motorsport game on the Steam Deck, which is currently before release in a very interesting predicament. Uh, I'll kind of show you what I mean, because we've got it installed, and we hit launch. So far, so good. We got a splash screen. So something's loading. And it crashes. And no matter what you do, if you go to developer, delete proton files, go to properties, go to compatibility. Well, let's start with this. Let's start without any compatibility. Just the normal proton files that you would get. So we're now installing the normal proton files that you'd get. Uh, when he first installed this game. Got a spl splash screen. We've got a frame rate, frame rate limiter, not limiter, but frame rate up in the corner. And yet yeah, it crashes. And again, we'll go down here. Compatibility we will force it. I don't know. G E proton seven forty nine. That's what battle.net uses and seems to work so far. Starting in launch. We're installing a script, which is great. And then it just crashes. So the predicament is, is that I know for a fact this game will run on the Steam Deck. You guys are kind of thinking, well, how do you know that? It's obviously not launching. Well, after dealing with this for a number of hours and looking through the forums, there are currently like three people asking about why this game isn't running on Steam Deck right now. And it's in early access, so that would make sense. But I have the feeling that when release day comes on this next Tuesday or Wednesday, that it's not going to get fixed. And there are going to be a lot more people who are going to be a lot more angry than we are. So how can we run Forza Motorsport on the Steam Deck? Well, you start by turning it off. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. All jokes aside, what you actually do is if you have Windows in this situation, Windows 10 installed on the Steam Deck, Definitely boot into that because I have found, weirdly enough, it will run in Windows on the Steam Deck. All right, and here we are in Windows 10 on the Steam Deck. We are now launching the game. We'll get this little warning. It says, we're sorry, but it looks like you may be unable to launch the game due to unsupported CPU or please update your graphics driver. I was trying to recently. I know I can do that later, but that's not honestly the issue. We'll hit ignore warning. And would you look at that? We are in. For those of you who enjoy Digital Foundry, I'll make two points here. First point being is I am not them, so I will be showing some little graphs and stuff up in the top left here, but I'll tell you just kind of what it says. I'm not really sure how much the power draw is or anything like that when it comes to this thing. But my main second point is that for those who do enjoy Digital Foundry, uh, the one of the main hosts, Alex Battaglia, loves to talk about shader compilation stutter. So basically, in the middle of a game, uh, the game will be trying to run shaders and decide to compile them all at the same time in some really weird points where it will just 
can create this giant leg that for no discernible reason that you're just walking around and suddenly you'll hit a new area and then like you'll drop like 20 frames for like five seconds and it's hugely problematic so he riffs on developers for not optimizing that process one way that the developers get around this is by whenever you start the game or start the game for the very first time it will compile all the shaders ahead of time so then when you're running the game it doesn't actually have to deal with that just random sudden lag spike that you'll get and in alex Battaglia's uh, pc optimization review of the forts motorsport he actually did commend you know turn 10 studios for not being stupid <laughs> and they actually did do the right thing where you have shooter compilation whenever you start the game problem is is that it takes seven minutes and 25 seconds every time you start that game up uh in windows 10 on the steam deck when you have a more built pc gaming rig it does not take that long, but for whatever reason, it takes a stupid long time for uh, the Steam Deck here on Windows 10. So, put on a cup of coffee, watch some TikToks, do whatever you want to do. It's going to take a while to get there. All right, to begin with, I should show off the uh, video settings that I've chosen. Basically, everything's going to be on low or off. So, in this situation, under basic video, dynamic render quality is low. Dynamic optimization is on custom, but I'll show that off in a moment. Display is full screen with a resolution of the Steam Deck screen. Show frame rate is off because I've got the little counter up in the top left corner. And I've actually turned off AMD FSR 2.0. For the moment being, we are not plugged in. I don't want to screw around with that and de uh, delete my battery life when I really don't have much as of right now. However, performance, dynamic render quality is low. I've actually got VSync on for 60 frames. Uh, and I'll just kind of scroll through the rest of this here so I don't sound like a broken record. Again, pretty much everything is on low or off. And the results of that is, as you can see here, not plugged in. Hovering about the low 30s into the high 20s on some certain frame drops. And honestly, if you have a locked V-Sync of 30 frames, I think you're going to be pretty good. Because as you can tell, we're actually getting up into the mid to high 30s now, fortunately. So that gives us a little bit of overhead to have a really smooth experience. But again, as you can tell, it is like solidly playable. It's not having these random ginormous lag spikes. I mean, it's like this is solidly playable in handheld mode. So uh, that's why I said earlier that I know for a fact that this game will run fairly well on the Steam Deck. Now, the best part is is that the longer this game is out, the more optimization will occur, the more that Turn 10 will work on improving the performance of the game and will potentially improve FSR 2.0 into FSR 3.0, which will be really cool to see in a couple, couple of months, probably a year if we're going to be honest. And I really, 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 really cannot wait for when they optimize this for... Uh, Linux or more specifically Steam OS because I would much rather play this with the Steam overlay and be able to just use that uh, Steam uh, OS out um, user interface in general. I mean, it's just wonderful and I just love it a lot, especially with that performance overlay where you can adjust uh, the refresh rate and all that kind of fun stuff. I use that so much. I really do. So I'm going to take a moment here to change over to plugged in mode to see how the performance may or may not differ. All right, and we are back with the Steam Deck plugged in directly into the Steam Deck dock, which is plugged in directly to a wall. And as you can tell, performance is uh, identical by the looks of it. Frame rate is low 30s into mid 30s. Memory seems to have gone down only by 3%. Of course, the numbers kind of speak for themselves. Um, 
it's still running solidly. So yeah, the great news is, is as we've discussed, this actually looks very good even in low quality settings. I mean, we're not getting... The thing that we've seen quite a bit in AAA games recently is when something is set into like a lower quality setting, we'll get some weird kind of flickering, we'll get some just really weird graphical bugs that just shouldn't be there. And in this situation, I mean, it still looks as <laughs> as good as the camcorder recall camcorder quality of a Steam Deck can get. Uh, yes, I will be posting gameplay eventually of me with my wheelbase, uh, trying out the just kind of the wheel settings and whatnot on this game, and we'll be able to see beautiful uh, 1080p 60 on probably at least medium settings. And this game honestly is really good looking. It's it's got that weird kind of washed out effect. But I think that's more of a stylistic choice, but that's like the only negative as far as it can come up with. And here we are just, ooh. <laughs> so yeah, Steam Deck running Forza Motorsport is definitely a possibility. And it works great. Of course, unfortunately, it has to be Windows 10 for the moment. I imagine Windows 11 uh, it was probably going to produce similar results. But yeah, I cannot wait for when optimization for Steam OS comes out. And I'm hoping we don't have to wait long because if Turn 10 decide to not optimize this for the Steam Deck, either they have a really good reason why because the Steam Deck didn't sell as much as I was thinking, or they definitely underestimated how much the Steam Deck has taken on the world. And like I said, I'm hopeful. So if you enjoy this content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I want to say next week, I'm hoping next week we're going to have some Steam OS performance numbers. Uh, if not, I'll show off uh, this game with the wheelbase, of course, that being the Fnatic GT DD Pro. And uh, for those who have already bought this game, congratulations. It's been a long time coming. I hope you enjoy this as much as I'm going to enjoy it. So again, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day today. Take care. Bye.